Let's find the Abitibi River as it drains into Moosonee. I'll zoom out. And Moosonee is right there. Okay, so there's the Abitibi River here. And I want you to follow this Abitibi River as far as you can till you run out of river and then zoom out and see how close the Abitibi River reaches the civilization near Toronto. You can look at it easier when it's in this form, but it's also really neat to click on satellite and you can see the shape of the land around it. And you can do a little virtual tour of this river. You'll be able to see people's houses. Um, you'll be able to see camps, rapids. You only get so close, it tends to get a bit blurry depending. But it's pretty cool to me that we can zoom in this far and see what's going on here. Look. It looks like at some point somebody had a big pond here that drained this way. So I just absolutely enjoy zipping along these rivers, looking for things. So it looks like a pretty muddy brown river so far. And then we get Little Cedar Creek. Now, you don't have to be in this close. So I'm going to zoom out a bit. But I just find it absolutely fascinating to see all the uh, land up there and wonder what it would be like to go investigate. So follow the Abitibi River till you run out. Look, there's an island in there. Oh, is that a beach or is that a town? Let's zoom in and see. It's snow. Look, three separate trees there. So it's a bit of a beach, but uh, it looks pretty cold, doesn't it? So this is what I mean. You can really have a lot of fun. I, I can't force you to do this. I'm not going to deliberately ask you questions to test whether you found it. But it's just really cool to be able to explore this way. It was something when I was a younger man in university, we would have to pay a large amount of money to get pictures like this. They were not available. Um, in some cases, you'd actually have to hire people to fly over if you wanted to do uh, research. So again, if you zoom out, you can complete the task easier to find the head of the Abitibi River by not having it in satellite view. In this version, you can follow along until you run out of river. But still, I would click the satellite in a few areas just to see Abitibi Canyon. I wonder what that's like. And then you can click. And, oh, you see sometimes they have better pictures. Right? So at some point, somebody flew over with a more detailed thing. And you can see more, more detail now. And, and then you go, wow, okay, there's people here now. So sometimes it's a mix of, of maps. You get different detail level. And then after the Abitibi Canyon, the river comes up the other side. So I want you to follow it and see how close to Southern Ontario does that river reach. And I think you'll be a bit surprised to see how far from Hudson's Bay these rivers reach.